come vape with me. I'm going to show you the Vivinova Tank Clearomizer by Genesis. It comes in this box and it's beautifully packed with a little drawer in which there is the tank, two atomizers that you can replace on the tank. Now I've used a Vivinova, the large one, but this is the first time I've had the small Vivinova tank. I have got e-liquid in here. And I'm going to show it to you if I can get it out of the box. It comes with its own mouthpiece. But I actually prefer my mouthpiece. And fortunately it's so designed that you can pop any mouthpiece you like on as long as it's a standard fitting. This is a 510 connection and it will fit on any Ego battery an ego battery like that but I'm using it on a mod so this is my precise and it won't fit on the precise because the precise has a flat top and many people will have similar devices with a flat top can't get it off there we are so because that is a 510 connection it won't fit on there. There's nothing to screw it on to. So you have to use an Ego um, connector, which really makes that mod into an Ego battery. And then we're fine screwing it on. I have already put e-liquid in here because I've been testing it out. And I have a complaint. This is the vape. On this tank clearomizer from Genesis. Makes good vapor. I know this e liquid. This is my well used and well known e liquid. So that's the only thing you can use if you're going to test another tank or a different. Um, atomizer because you know how it should perform. Now to me this is absolutely perfect if I block that little hole. Now have a look. There's a little hole there and on the other side at the bottom of the tank is another little hole. To me that's two holes too many. So if I put my finger on that hole, but unfortunately this is a bottom uh, activating mod, then I get a decent vape. It's far less airy. I don't like the airiness of this clearomizer tank. So when I get round to it, I'm going to take a little bit of sticky tape and close off one of those holes. Because a better design for me, and what do I really know, but to stop it being so airy, simply have one hole. A lot of my tanks have got one hole and not two holes. So I think that's a bit of a negative um, comment. But otherwise, when that hole is blocked, it's a very nice tank. So that is on my um, precise. Let me show you the next problem. And it's not just this clearomizer. It happens with other tanks you buy as well. This is another mod. And the connection on there is that. Now there's no way that that fits in there. It's minusculely too large. Though other tanks who have the same system at the bottom do fit in. So an ordinary clearomizer tank just simply screws in to these mods. But again, 
we need this device, which then makes it into an ego fitting mod. Then we're able to screw in the clear clearo tank or the clearomizer tank from Genesis. Genesis stuff is beautifully made. So I appreciate that. All the screwing and the threads on it is beautifully manufactured and engineered. Uh, so it's a good tank. I'm not sure how much they cost. It has two extra atomizers that when this one is finished you can just simply screw in the atomizer to replace it now this would also take rebuild atomizers how you do that to fill you simply screw the top off the tank clearomizer and add your e-liquid down the edges because that's what it looks like and there's plenty of room for the e-liquid to dribble down the side. To change the atomizer, which I'm not going to do because this is full of um, liquid at the bottom, you do it in reverse. Instead of taking the top off, you take you unscrew the bottom. And the bottom simply unscrews and this shaft with the atty on it is exposed. And see that your tank is empty before you do that. Otherwise all the e-liquid drops on your lap. Believe me, I know. And then you simply take your old atomizer off and you add a new atomizer on the top. Screw it in and you're ready to vape. I'm pleased with that. The two things that I feel are negative about it is the two holes at the bottom because they make the vape very airy and the fact that it won't fit. It's minuscularly too large to simply fit on mods and many of us have got this kind of mod with that kind of well, that's a deep well. All other clearomizers, except one that I know of, do fit. But this one and the other one do not fit in that well. And so you have to pop about with a connection. And then connect it. This device is currently vaping it. 4 volts or just over it's 4.1 volts actually so to block the hole I really need some sticky tape to cover that hole otherwise I have to hold it like that and depress the button at the bottom because this is a precise but that's good tastes good and thanks for vaping with me